Uh, usually the, the training here works that uh, we wake up in the morning and we wait for uh, Bali's message and uh, usually it is at uh, 1 p.m. more or less and he tells us uh, what time uh, we're supposed to meet up here to ride and usually in summer is uh, 5 p.m. more or less till 9 and uh, during winter is a, a little bit earlier of course because um, it comes dark sooner, so we meet up here and uh, we start riding. Uh, usually, it's uh, some some free practice, three or four sessions of free practice. Then we try to make some hot laps, and then there is racing, and we decide which kind of racing we want to do. We can make the whole lap, so we we can make the a manche in the, in the whole lap, or we can make americana, and, and then uh, that's it. We go to it here at, uh, at the ranch. Flat track is important because you get used to to the rear tire spinning and to the bike going sideways and you get used to, to this feeling and uh, yeah, you are less scared when uh, when this happens to you on, on real racing on real tracks. It's, it's basically something that that you that you improve and then you get better at but there is not a specific moment in the race that you use the skill that you learn here I think that the whole race, the whole practice, the whole weekend you, you have absorbed this kind of skill and you can use it whenever you want Training together with the other guys of the academy is super nice because uh, it's a challenge, it's always a challenge the, the level uh, in our training is uh, very high we always, uh, we are always pushing each other. We always try to to get better. It's a thing that uh, makes you improve a lot. It's a thing that uh, makes you work better and uh, also makes you work with a better attitude because you're between friends and uh, you're just uh, you're basically having fun with friends while you're training. You train better because you're training with great riders, so it's a, it's a great it's a great uh, thing and it's a super useful thing. There are many many fast riders here. I would say that the fastest are um, Vale, for sure. He's uh, he's one of the main guys here. Uh, Besides the fact he's the boss and uh, Luca as well, but also the other guys. Uh, Migno is fast. Bedze, uh, Cele. Uh, Manzi, we are all we are all very fast, um, but I think that the main guys are Bale and Luca. This track is unique, so whatever you do here, uh, you cannot do on any on any, on any track in the world. I mean, uh, there is no such a such a structure and uh, such a surface, such a kind of track, such a such a layout as this one. So there are many things that we do that. Uh, other riders uh, can't because they don't have this uh, facility. It is definitely like dancing uh, because you you move a lot on the bike. Especially uh, I do it because uh, I have a strange kind of uh, riding style here that, here at the ranch. I I move a lot with my with my hips, follow the bike. So to do something good together, and here is a continuous. Uh, movement so it might look like a dance. I met Vale when I was uh, 13. Uh, I started training uh, at uh, his previous track. Uh, it was called Cava. It was 2009 or something like this. I started uh, training with him first on the track then on the gym. Then uh, he wanted to uh, help me also on, on the uh, manager side so things escalated slowly and step by step. I was really really excited to be able to ride uh, with him, with uh, Sitch, with Simoncelli. I was uh, super excited. I was wanting a lot to, to learn from them, to see what, what were they doing, what, how they were working on track, how they were behaving and uh, I, it was really nice to see their their challenges, you know. It was nice also just to see to uh, world-class riders uh, facing each other on another uh, environment and on another discipline and it was just nice and amazing to see them uh, fight together and then after fighting uh, like hell uh, joking about it so it was nice
I don't feel the fear too much uh, here at the ranch. Most of the times there is not uh, an unknown situation for me. While at real, ra at real racing, as sometimes I have fear because um, there are uh, unknown situations or unknown uh, things that can happen. So I'm, I'm fearing more the, the things that I don't know, the things that I cannot predict, the things that uh, I cannot protect myself um, from. So here I, I feel quite okay, while uh, when I'm racing, especially at the starts, when you're starting from, I don't know, 8th position or something like that, and you have many riders and you have to uh, calculate every move that they do or to have, you have to react to every move that they do, is quite tricky and it might be uh, scary sometimes. You try to go beyond the fear, preparing yourself uh, at best, and try to control everything you can control and you try to improve everything you can improve and do everything at the maximum. In this way, uh, the, the fear doesn't go away, but you, for sure you reduce by a lot the, the risk. Well, it's, uh, it's important and it's a thing that we have to do because we cannot train with uh, MotoGP all the time. There are disciplines that are really uh, useful but also dangerous like uh, motocross and there are disciplines that are uh, maybe a bit less useful but still nice um, and there are disciplines like this one I think uh, that uh, are useful and not so uh, dangerous for the rider so we need to adapt ourselves also is uh, nice to sometimes change change discipline and do something else uh, it keeps you uh, awake and it keeps you sharp. In this sense, uh, is uh, is uh, really useful to change discipline. But it's uh, important as well to don't forget you're a MotoGP rider or Moto2 or uh, you're a road bike rider. So it's important to don't forget that, but try to uh, experience uh, many motorsport uh, things because. Uh, uh, it, it makes your passion grow up and uh, it's, uh, it's just fun. I really like motocross and uh, I'm, I'm not great at it. I'm, I just practice it and uh, I, I try to be averagely fast but not, not too fast. I try to don't risk too much. So I try to, to usually to don't over push with MX. While here I, I can push a lot and I can uh, really squeeze the performance so it's a really nice battle but I will choose I would choose here because uh, it's a place where I can really push uh, a lot